Hello, I'm Mindy Dom, State Representative for the 3rd Hampshire District, representing Amherst, Pelham, and Granby in the Massachusetts House of Representatives. I'm talking to you in this video today about COVID-19, the current pandemic of a novel coronavirus that's affecting our communities, our commonwealth, our country, and the world. As you know, right now in the United States and in Massachusetts, we have a national and state public health emergency. In the 3rd Hampshire District, our schools and our town buildings are closed, including our libraries and our councils on aging. I wanted to talk with you a little bit about what's being done, what we're expecting, what I'm doing, and what you can do. First, what we're doing, and sadly, what has not been done. As you may have heard, the federal government has been incredibly sluggish and slow in getting coronavirus testing kits out to states so that we could have widespread testing. This is a huge problem since we get such helpful information from testing. Testing allows us to find out not only trends of the epidemic, but allows individuals to find out if they're infected so that they can be more careful about transmission and also they get their health monitored and get treatment and care. As a result of this flawed response, we have a skewed view of the epidemic at this time. Testing information is critical. And we're looking forward this coming week to be able to get more testing locations as well as more testing kits. On Friday, the Massachusetts Department of Public Health took another step to increase testing availability. They relaxed the criteria and eligibility for testing in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is a very important step that will also allow more people to access testing. In the coming week or two, we are going to see more widespread testing, and here's what we can expect. I cannot tell you what the final number will be on infections, and I can't tell you when it will be over or when it will peak. What I can tell you is it's gonna get worse before it gets better, and I can urge you to prepare yourself. Increased testing means we're gonna have increased information about the level of infection, and we are going to see a very large number in terms of the infections. Please don't be scared about that. The infections are widespread right now, even if testing is not. But testing will improve our knowledge and our knowledge helps us to cope with the outbreak. It helps us to figure out what are the interventions that we need to do. Testing does not stop the spread of this virus. So what are we all doing? Local hospitals are preparing. Many legislators, including myself, are pushing Governor Baker to use his emergency authority in aggressive, creative, and proactive ways. I am not satisfied that his administration has been doing everything they can do to be a leader in fighting not just the epidemic, but meeting our needs. What can you do? If you think you're sick, call your doctor. Do not go to the emergency room. Do not go to the doctor's office. We are trying to keep the waiting rooms of both hospitals, clinics, and doctor's offices empty so that people do not get sick and that vulnerable populations don't get infected. The good news about this epidemic so far is that Mass Health announced last week that they would reimburse providers for telemedicine right away as a result of the outbreak. And many of us are pushing the Division of Insurance to expand that and require all private insurers to do so as well. So here's how you can prepare yourself. You've heard the term social distancing. This means essentially at least six feet apart from people, but predominantly people are staying home. Our schools are closed in Amherst, our colleges and universities are shut down, all designed to help you stay home and stay healthy and keep our community healthy. You may need layoff assistance if you're, small, if you're employed by a small business. Call my office or contact us if we can be helpful and supportive in your application process. Small businesses that need assistance, also reach out to us. We may not be able to provide immediate assistance, but we will help guide you through the process. What else? Connect with our neighbors. We may not be able to do that in person, but thankfully we can use the technology that we have available to do so. Use social media, telephones, emails, reach out to people, build our community, keep our community strong during this time. I wanna take a moment about our, talk about our seniors in our community. Seniors are particularly vulnerable to not only this effect, infection, but from getting very ill as a result of it. As, as a result, many of them are not participating in the activities and those activities that usually are available to them are no longer available to them. What is the result? 
heightened social isolation, just at a time when we really don't want that to happen. I'm grateful that the Amherst Senior Center and a new organization called Amherst Seniors will soon be providing us with multiple opportunities to check in on our senior neighbors by telephone. Please stay tuned for more information on this. Check out my social media if you're interested. I just want to say one word about changing information in an epidemic. This is our new reality. We don't know how long it will last. It can create more anxiety for many people in our lives. Please take care of yourself and your family, not just physically from the virus, but emotionally as a result of the outbreak. We will all get through this together, and together we are going to push for a more meaningful and timely response. I will be posting more information shortly on how we can support our nonprofits, our most vulnerable neighbors. In the meantime, if you need food, the Amherst Survival Center's food pantry is open. Please call them or check out their Facebook and website for more details. Thank you so much, and I hope that you are doing well. I hope you stay safe, and I'll be in touch soon. And please let me know how my office can be of assistance to you and your family. Thank you.